Have you always wanted to learn the piano, but felt that maybe you were too old? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you three excellent reasons why you're never too old to learn the piano or, in fact, any other musical instrument. Hello to you, my friends, and welcome to the channel. Now, this is a very different type of video to the videos I usually do on this channel, and therefore, I'm thinking it's probably going to bring a new audience. So if this is your first time to this channel, I want to welcome you and tell you that we usually on this channel, uh, we have lots of fun. We review albums, we do song analysis on different songs. We also have a geek talk segment where we do, you know, we discuss music production. And new to the channel, I've just introduced a, uh, what we call Real Talk Retro, where we talk about retro TV shows and movies and analyze the music. You can see that all in the videos below my previous videos. But the reason for this video is because a lot of people have asked me you know, about my coaching and things that I often mention. It's just you know, in passing in my videos. And for those of you who are not aware, I am a artist development coach. I'm an artist myself and a producer. As a coach, I develop artists. My job is to help people find their sound, um, you know, whether it be their voice in, uh, within, you know, vocal coaching or uh, to, to develop their skills from scratch if they've never played the piano before. And so that's really the reason for this video. And one of the biggest questions I often get, and there are many variations of this question, and I've heard this question a lot, is am I too old to get started? You know, there's that timeless old question. So focusing on that question, am I too old to learn the piano? I'm going to give you three excellent reasons why now is as good a time to start as ever. Reason number one, desire trumps youth. And what I mean by that is one of the biggest challenges we face as a human being, and this never goes away, you will face this all your life, is this feeling of always feeling too young and then feeling too old. Let me give you an example. When you're 15 years old, you look at someone who's 20 and you go, oh my God, they're so old. Then when you get to 20 and you look at a 15 year old, you go, oh my God, they're so young. Then let's say you're 20 years old and you want to learn a skill. You go, oh no, I'm too old to do that. So you don't do it. And then you get to 30 and you go, oh my God, 20 so young. I wish I had done that when I was 20. But I want to learn this new skill, but now I'm 30, I'm too old. So what happens? You get to 40. And then when you look back at your 30 year old self or a 30 year old person, you'll go, oh my God, 30 is so young. I wish I had started. So you've, you've essentially wasted all those years and this never stops. You know, you'll get to 50 and you'll go, oh, I'm too old to learn a skill, a particular skill. Then when you get to 60 and you go, oh, 50 is so young. I wish I'd learned it. So you can see how as a human being that never stops and you know, old people will always tell you that. And I'm here to reinforce that, you know, that is indeed the case. Now, desire and intention are two of the most powerful psychological traits of the human psyche. Um, the desire to do things and, uh, you know, against all odds is something we've seen, you know, in medicine, we've seen people who've cured themselves from cancers and, you know, you know, even when the doctors said it was impossible. Okay, now th that's a very extreme example. But now let's, you know, bring it back to the nice stuff now. So learning an instrument, um, for instance, the piano in this case, is something you must get started with. Uh, and you can apply this to everything in your life. If you have this desire to get started, you must get started. Now, why I say desire will trump youth is this, the desire, your intention to do something um, will outweigh the fact that you are not as young as what you would like to be. And that brings us nicely onto the second reason. Concentration, something we develop with age, hopefully, if we've looked after ourselves, is concentration, the ability to concentrate. Um, I see this a lot with younger people who go for piano lessons. You know, very often there are those children that go to, for piano lessons from the ages of five and six, you know, very, very young. And very often these children go for lessons because their parents want them to do it. And I cannot tell you how many times I've met people, you might be one of them, people who started the piano and they just got bored 
you know, because, you know, there is a lot of learning involved. And I found that a lot of conventional teaching, you know, there are these fundamentals that need to be taught to you and they are very important. But a lot of the traditional training, and it depends on the teacher, a lot of it can be very boring. And this is why a lot of youngsters will start the piano at five, six, seven or eight. And they usually get to about typically grade two or three or four, and then they drop out. And I cannot tell you how many times I've heard people, especially in my time in piano bars, when people would come up to me and, you know, we'd have a conversation and they would say, oh, you know, whenever they see someone playing the piano, they just wish they'd carry on with their lessons. And then I would always say, well, why don't you get started again? Oh, no, you know, I took it to grade three and I got bored and I stopped. That is a common question. And a lot of that is to do with children's concentration. Now, very often I've seen children that are very reluctant to go for piano lessons. John, have you done your piano? You need to do your scales. I don't want to do my scales. You have got to, you know, there's that pushy parent thing and not always, but it is a very common thing where children just, you know, it feels like work. And then as we are designed as human beings, as you get older, you go, oh God, I wish I had carried on with that. So where does that bring us to this point? So whether you've done it before or not, or let's assume you haven't started. Concentration is much better in an older person or, you know, if you're an adult. Now, don't take it from me. In fact, Jules Holland, who's, you know, one of the most, one of the greatest pop pianists of our generation, I suppose, he said in a video once that what you lack in years, as you know, as a more mature person, you have in concentration. So, and it comes back to point number one is the fact that you are a little bit older and you want to do it. You're older now, so you have the concentration, you have the ability to concentration and with the desire and the intention will come the focus and the concentration and you're in a much better position to learn. Reason number three, an increase in intelligence. Now don't take my word for this, just look it up online and there are many source resources for this. There was a fascinating story I read once, and this is going a little bit off topic. I, I wish I knew the source, and you can probably find it online, was a person who, uh, they had an accident, and they they really bumped their head really badly, you know, received a really bad brain trauma, and they were in a, in a, 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 a coma for a while, and when they came out, they developed these incredible abilities uh, and one of the abilities was this person was able to just learn any musical instrument really really quickly so the brain is very very fascinating and once again I've used a very extreme example to highlight what I'm trying to say but the brain is a very very intriguing uh, organism in fact you know scientists neurologists doctors psychiatrists know very little about the brain and its potential you know we we talk about the, the human body everything from the neck down what they call is just plumbing, you know, it's just plumbing. But from the neck up, it's very, very complex. And the brain does intrigue us very, very much. Uh, in fact, what we don't understand, and of course, I'm no expert on this. I've just read a few things. We do know that there are certain things in the brain that when you learn a new skill, it positively affects other parts of the brain. We don't know why. And, you know, there's a lot of research going uh, that has gone into that. A lot of these various researchers have found that learning an instrument does improve intelligence. And now I'm not qualified to say why that is the reason. But if I was to be if I was to speculate, I would think that it really just boils down to focus. When you learn to meditate, you learn to think of nothing, you know, just to focus on the breath. And Meditation helps with concentration. Now, when you are deeply focused on a task, like learning something, like learning a piano, a riff, and a scale, I think it is that focus and that concentration and that repetition that drums it in to you, and and that and that actually stimulates other parts of the brain. As I say, look look it up. It, learning a musical instrument has been shown to increase your intelligence, your your vocabulary, and everything. And I think it's just because when you stimulate one part of the brain it stimulates another part completely as well. There are many other great benefits to learning the piano or any other music instrument, you know, re relaxation and, you know, a sense of fulfillment. But I just wanted to focus it on those three reasons. Uh, but I can guarantee you there are a lot more reasons. So whether you decide to learn it by yourself, 
online or you know with a, with a teacher or with me um, that is entirely up to you. If you're interested in learning more about how I can help you as an artist or if you want to start learning piano or, or keyboards uh, look in the description below you will also find a video which was the very first video I posted when I started this channel uh, it's called uh, pianist a piano lesson for absolute beginners and in that video I give you a taste of how I learned to play the piano myself using a method which I'm calling the the layman's piano method now I have taught myself how to play I've never had a lesson in my life and I have managed to to get by if you watch any of my previous videos you will see I kind of know my way around. I'm no concert pianist, but I, I can get by. And I've managed to make a career from it. I've played in piano bars. And the whole reason um, my training is a little bit different is because I show you the way I learned. And, you know, it may not be for you, but hey, man, if you never try, you'll never know. Right, so if you enjoyed that video and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe leave your comments in the description below let me ask me any questions you want to ask me i will try and answer as many as what i can all my contact details are in the description below as well and if you've got any queries just give me a shout and i'd love to hear from you and time permitting i would be very happy to help you take care of yourself and remember you're never too old the worst thing you can ever say to yourself is what if if only and don't do that yourself get started Forget about what other people think. Do it for yourself and you'll be so happy you did. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Adios.